Andrew Gamer Goggles. Another box breaking for today. Uh, this is Master of Orion, the board game from Cryptozoic Entertainment. Uh, ooh, it has the Dice Tower Seal of Excellence. I don't know how you get that, but inside we've got the uh, rule, which, uh, real quick, there's 15 pages, and they're, they're pretty much full-size pages. Uh, about half to a third is text, so it's uh, pretty light, so basically you're... Well, I'm not even sure these are all going to be rules, because, well, oh, those are just race informations on the side there. Um, and then, it, actually, game end is at 11, so there's other rules, hints for new players, etc., um, on it. So, inside, continuing, we have, what's this? Ah, so here, it, the card comes with, or the game comes with, downloadable content on Revenge of Antares. Uh, on, no, for Steam on Revenge of Antares. Launch Steam client, blah, blah. It gives you all the instructions on how to use the card. You scratch off the code, and uh, you get the code. I don't know what that's for. Um, you get uh, several punch-outs. Um, that's probably a player whose turn it is to punch out. You get the victory point chart. How many races do we get? That's always important. I already punched one out. So let's see here. Somewhere in here we have. All right. Oh man. We have the Alcari, Meklar, Marshan, Cat People, Darlocks. Cylon and the uh, Bolrathi. Are these two sides? Oh, ha, let's flip it over. Oh, looks like they're all human. All of the other sides are human. So you can have, I guess, multiple human players that way. Um, you get the uh, counter chips. We're not going to open these up. And of course, you get the cards because it's a card game. Uh, Real quick, set that off to the side. And I thought there we can open it up like this. So, Masters of Ryan, the board game is a uh, epic, right? I mean, the computer game's epic, so the board game's got to be epic. Uh, it's a uh, struggle where basically you get to face the other races um, in in the growing pains of expanding your territory, I guess is a good way to say it, and, and you colonize other worlds and go to war, um, fight for resources, struggle, there's, you can be militaristic with this game. Uh, or you can, you know, try and use a peaceful strategy. That's one of the core points of this game. So I'm going to take half of these cards right now. Um, actually, let's, let's take a look at the back. They look like they're all going to be identical on the Well, there are a few cards that are different, and these are advisor cards. So we're going to take a look at the advisor cards first. Uh, you have a Diva OSM. Um, he, these are high gloss cards, so that, I mean, they're, they're good quality. Uh, they're high, high gloss. Uh, build the top card of the discard pile with a discount of one resource. And then you have, whoa. So you have uh, Fulcrum Sandabar. Always, this advisor cannot be returned or replaced. It becomes the first card of your extra system. At the end of the game, choose a color. This advisor card counts as a card of that color. Interesting. And you build cards in the system with a discount of one resource. Uh, then you have Vale the Whisperer. He is quite possibly, I mean, some of these are good, but he's got the most stuff going on, it looks like. Um, you have Vale the Whisperer, who always, when comparing, uh, I don't know what the term is, the Star and the Chevrons, uh, during your attack action, you have two additional. Oh, that's cool. Uh, after attacking, you put a cube on... 
cube from your reserve on this advisor card to gain two. Interesting. Interesting. Um, she's a resource, basically. She, she gives you a lot of resources. And, you know, this guy is a, a bargain ship. He, he, he reduces the costs. Um, another resource. Oh, you get these after attacking them. And you got hers on activation. Um, the Scion lets you pick two colors and reveal five cards from the top of the deck. One by one, taking in your hand all cards of the colors you picked. Well, that's kind of neat. And the, the cat race here, Harava, I got it, I think. I think I got it. Um, you may put a cube from your reserve on this card, or on this advisor card. And you don't remove it until the end of the round, or don't remove it at the end of the round. Um, and at the start of the round, you can add a cube from the advisor card to your pool. I'm going to call it pool um, for now. And then we can take a look at all the other cards, and we'll zoom in for this so you get a better look. You have uh, Auto Lab. Actually, this sounds. This is looking like it's going to be real fun. Um, Biospheres, Halo Simulators. Like I said, okay, I have never played. Master of Orion. So I really don't know what a lot, some of these things are. Um, I, I mean, I've never played the video game. And I really didn't get to talk to anybody at uh, Cryptozoic about this. Uh, so I don't know any of the symbols yet. But in a couple of weeks, I hope to do a playthrough uh, review on this and show you guys how to play uh, without making too many mistakes. Because, you know, mistakes tend to happen the first couple times you play the game. Uh, Fighter Garrison. So I'm going to guess that the red cards are offensive. So here's Doomstar. Uh, these are trade goods, most of them. Advanced stuff, but they're, they're a different color for a reason, I'm sure. Um, and these all seem rather aggressive. Orbital batteries. Uh, orbital shipyard. Well, that one's not aggressive, I guess. Can be. Um, government support facility. Death spores. Titan. That's a cool picture. Uh, Astro University. And... We have uh, more Astro Universities. We have a Battle Station, High Orbit Sonar, Star Fortress, Neutron Collider, Colonial Revenue Service, Galactic Cybernet, Recyclotron, Cloning Center, uh oh, somebody's in trouble, Alien Management Center, Jump Gates, that's nice. Galactic News Network, GNN, Colony Ship, Pleasure Drome, or Dome, oh my gosh. Sorry guys, I'm congested. <laughs> my eyes are watering. Espionage Facility, nice. A frigate, Spy Center, and a Destroyer. So, inside, Master of Orion, the board game get all, all you get well you get the promo if you play Master of Ryan on Steam might be worth buying it just to get that for free I don't know um, you get the victory points chart you get the little number tokens you get all the races which I kind of want on top Uh, the advisor cards and the uh, deck cards along with the different marking chits you're going to need for playing the game. There you go guys. That's uh, Master of Orion from Cryptozoic Entertainment. Thanks for watching and have a great day.